celebrates the magic of the movie. The fabulous parade of stars in the Magicwets. ship to shore. We're old friends. You know, Mickey introduced us. Anyway, he said you might need a little help, maybe a few tips on hosting an award show, you know, performing in front of an audience. A little help? No, you don't understand. I can't be the host. This is a big, splashy musical. Hmm, I see. Well, maybe you just better give up. Oh, great. Awesome. I'll go get the cruise director. Oh, or you could just try. Sure. That's easy for you to say. You're Whoopi Goldberg. You're a big, famous movie star. Me, I just embarrass myself and make a mess of the whole thing. Hmm. 
So you don't think you have what it takes, huh? I know Walt Disney. <laughs> now, you want to know something funny? Sure. I've just been reading a book about Walt, and he didn't have it so easy either. He didn't? No. Walt always wanted to be an artist, even as a farm boy in Missouri. You know, when he was 20 years old, he started his own cartoon company, but the company went broke within a year. Now, instead of being discouraged, he set out for Hollywood, where he joined his brother Roy, and the Disney Brothers studio was formed. They did well with their Oswald the Lucky Rabbit short films, but then they lost the rights to Oswald and nearly all their staff. It was a terrible blow, but Walt didn't give up on himself. He quickly came up with a replacement for Oswald, a mouse named Mortimer. Now Walt's wife Lillian thought the name Mortimer wasn't quite right. She said she thought Mickey sounded better. And so on November 18th, 1928, Mickey Mouse made his debut. He was an instant sensation. Wow, I never realized Walt Disney had it so tough. But he still never had to host an awards show. Well, now that's where I come in. See, I have hosted the Oscars a few times. And I'll tell you what, why don't we present the first award of the evening together? The first Golden Mickey goes to a film that was completely revolutionary when it was produced. Walt had decided he wanted to make a full-length color animated feature. Now, people thought he was crazy. They even called it Disney's Folly. What happened? Just went on to be the biggest hit of 1938. Which movie is it? Well, let's ask our friend here. Mirror, mirror on the wall, what was the film that started it all?
welcome the television and film star, Mr. Tim Allen. Hi, I'm Tim Allen, and I played the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story movies. Buzz was a pretty heroic guy, brave and strong, made of 100% plastic. But Disney movies have shown us that heroes aren't necessarily big macho guys with utility belts. They can be anyone who stands up for what they believe in, or pushes themselves a little further than they thought they could go. Of course, a good utility belt never hurts, unless it's too tight or too low. Tonight's Golden Mickey is presented to the ones who inspire us to go to infinity and beyond.
I am thrilled to present the award for Best Heroine in a Musical, set in China, circa the 12th century, to Mulan. Turk? Oh, oh! No, watch it! You almost hit the stick with your face! Turk, this is the hero section! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heroes are great. Especially the guy in the loincloth. But let's get to the funny stuff! Everyone loves to laugh, right, Bo? Oh, well, yes, yes, the comedy tribute is coming up, but we have to follow the script. <laughs> oh, hey, Bo! Oh, what? <gasps> now, oh, who's no. ready oh. to make some oh. noise? What? These are all out of
Alison Benson. Yes, how was the voice of Mrs. Potts in Beauty and the Beast? Mrs. Potts was a very good friend of them both. She was loyal and true, a kind face, when no one else seemed to understand. Disney films have given us so many friends over the years, from Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket and Lilo and Stitch to the buddies in Disney Pixar's Toy Story and Finding Nemo. Tonight, we salute these friends with a golden mickey for reminding us that, come what may, our friends will see us through.
always look to the stars. And never, I mean never,